Welcome to your 30 minute full body workout. Strength training to gain muscle will help you to burn fat, but you need to be consistent. Repeat this workout three times during the week, leaving a recovery day between sessions. Next Monday, your new weekly workout will appear under this week's workout. I'm Mike today so you can better understand how intensely I work during each set. You need to pick a challenging dumbbell weight to grow the muscle to get the fat loss effects. I'll cue the start and last rep, but there won't be other talking. I've also kept the music low so that you can turn up the volume on your music at home if you wish. A full workout outline can be found in the description under this video. I'll also share the weights I use as I preview each set. Now go grab your dumbbells. You're getting started with a warm up right now. Bring hands behind ears, hinge forward to flat back, Stand up, squat down, and repeat. Into a forward shoulder roll to arm roll. and reverse the direction. Cross the arms in front of the body and pull the elbows back. Move into a wide stance. Lunge to one side, come up to arms overhead in the middle and lunge to the other and alternate sides. up to standing. Bring arms overhead, hands to high knees, alternating sides. Squat down, bringing hands to feet and rainbow the arms as you come up. To finish the warm up, squat down, come up to overhead side reach, and alternate sides. Okay, 
Set number one, sumo deadlift. Wider than shoulder width stance, toes are pointing out, core is engaged to protect the spine. Come down to the weight, push hard through the feet to stand up. This targets the inner thighs and the glutes. Then we'll move into a front V raise. I like a staggered stance for added stability. Palms face in at the bottom. Raise the arms up, creating a V at the top. This targets the shoulders with an emphasis on the front of the delts. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep, set your weight down, move it off to the side, getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep, and set your weights down. Everyone is so encouraged by your comments. Please keep sharing. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep and set your weight down. Setting up and starting right now. Last rep. There's a long, audible exhale, the most challenging part of the lift. Those are your breathing cues now that you can hear them. Getting set up. And starting right now.
Last rep. Setting up. And starting right now. strap and set your weights down. Set number two, RDLs. Hip width stance, toes are pointing straight, tight core to support the spine. Hinge at the hips as the butt travels back and the dumbbells slide down the front of the legs. Push hard through the feet to stand up. This is working the glutes and the hamstrings. Then we'll move into bicep 21s. Seven reps on the bottom half of the curl, seven reps on the top half of the curl, and then seven reps for the full range of motion. Seven plus seven plus seven gives you your 21. Getting set up. And starting right now. Strap. Set your weights down. Setting up. And starting. Seven on the bottom right now. Top half. Full range. Last rep. Getting set up. And starting right now. Strip. Getting set up. And starting 
right now. Getting set up. And starting right now. take me some time to remember to cue you and of course bicep 21s I work in the biceps on the front of the arms getting set up and starting right now Strap. Oh, I remembered that one. Set number three is a close grip row. You want a wide stance for stability. Grab your dumbbell, either one or two dumbbells held close to one another. Row up into the rib cage and down. This is working in the middle of the back and you want to have your core engaged as you hinge forward to keep your head, neck and spine in a straight line. Then we'll go down to the floor for a decline chest press. Squeeze the glutes to raise the hips up. Down, press up. Hands are at 45 degree angles to the body which will feel more comfortable for the shoulder. The decline chest press changes the angle, working more of the low chest area. Getting set up. And starting right now. Strap. 
down to the floor. Raise the hips up and starting right now. Last rep and set your weights down. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep, set that weight down, down to the floor. Raise the hips up and starting right now. Last rep, set your weights down. Okay, getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep, set your weight down and down to the floor. Raise the hips up and starting right now. Last rep, and set your weights down. Set number four, overhead tricep extension. Nice stable stance, tight core. Holding the dumbbell, bend at the elbows to 90 degrees, then use the triceps on the back of the arm to extend up. 
This is doing the pushing. Then down to the floor for a butterfly crunch. By bringing the feet together, letting the knees fall out, you can't use the hip flexors to raise the shoulders up. If you'd like to make it more difficult, you can bring the arms overhead and all the way up and over. So you're not pulling on the neck, think, bringing your armpits towards your knees. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep, and down to the floor. Getting set up and starting right now. So after this workout, I would love to hear what you think about the new format, but please remember I'm human and lead with kindness. I'd love to hear your thoughts, but it's certainly pushing me out of my comfort zone to try this with you today. Okay, getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep. And down to the floor. Setting up and starting right now. Last rep. Repeating the workout three times each week allows you to improve your form, get a better connection to the target muscle, and helps you to recognize if it's time to increase your dumbbell weight. 
For those of you who've been following along, you might have noticed I've increased my weight today, which is not so great to, for keeping my breath, but I feel challenged and it's a way I can continue to progress as an advanced lifter. Getting set up. And starting right now. Last rep. Oh, and set that weight down and down to the floor. Setting up and starting right now. Last rep. And come up to standing. Ooh. And you made it. There's only a quick cool down stretch to go. Bring arms overhead. Slide one hand down the length of the body. Opposite arm stays up and reverse. Other side. Long exhales will help slow the breathing down. Come back up. Switch. And last side. Arms down. Bring one heel out in front. Lean forward as you sit back, getting a nice stretch in the calf, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Release, switch sides. Release, other side. Release, and last side. Release and come up to standing. Clasp the hands behind the back. Wiggle those shoulders back, pressing the chest forward. It's a, if it's available to you, you can lean forward to deepen the stretch. Release, come up. Ooh, shake it out, and one last time. And release. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you in the next workout.